Hey, many fish. 22nd of July, 2018. And I, I need to show you this real quick. This is just crazy. I'm sure you're all aware of the 17 that perished in the duck boat accident in Missouri. Very sad, man. Very sad. Pray for these people's families. Nine of which were from one family. But, of course, you know what I noticed was the 17. And it really caught my attention when I also saw that on the same day, 17 were injured in these out-of-nowhere tornadoes in Iowa. Okay? So 17, 17. And, and, of course, the 17 represents victory. Okay? And biblically speaking, overcoming the enemy, complete victory. The flood came on the 17th day, overcoming the sin of the rebellious humans. And it rested on Ararat on the 17th of the 7th month. This is important, so I'm just trying my best here. Uh, Jesus, he got a complete victory over death and the grave when he was resurrected on the 17th of Nisan. It goes on, this, the beasts of Daniel, the beasts of Revelation, seven heads, ten horns, 17, so on and so forth. To me... It represents the 153, as in the fish in the net. Some of you may not know this, but if you were to just take 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, and all the way to 17, you will get yourself a perfect three-sided 17-count triangle, which represents the triad, which represents the Father, the Son, the Spirit, and all the fish in the net, the 153. That's what it represents. John 21. 21. 777. Seven, seven. There were seven of the disciples on the ship fishing. Okay? In the Sea of Tiberus. Seven. 21. They caught 153 fish after Jesus told them to cast the net on the right side of the ship. And if the seven were to divide the 153 fish amongst themselves, they would have 21 fish apiece. So do you see the pattern here, the seven, 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 sevens? And in this particular case, what that is telling me is Jesus is coming. That's what it says to me. And the reason it says that is because Jesus is the 77th from Adam, the second Adam. Okay, 77. 14th from David, 7-7. Seven, seven. This is what I'm seeing, okay? Now, if we look at uh, this boat accident, right? This is crazy because yesterday I saw this here, and it lists all the victims and their ages. And this is crazy, I mean, because we could go into so many things here. But what I was led to do is just add all their ages together. So I did, and it comes up to 7, 8, 9, which equals 24, which to me represents the blood of Christ, the 24 chromosomes. And if you divide the 17 into the 7, 8, 9, you get 46, okay? The condition of humankind, the 23 and the 23, the good you, the bad you. This is where the dividing comes in. This is a message saying that that dividing, the sheep and the goats, the wheat and the tares, all of it is upon us. And you need to choose a side. You need to seek Christ humbly and sincerely and ask for the truth. Or you will wind up like the world, condemned to death. Okay? And... While I'm looking at all this stuff yesterday, this is this is the craziest part, I think. I have a, a video playing in the background, essentially. And it's Adam from Parable of the Vineyard. Him and Justin, Christian Truthers, do a show Friday nights, 8 o'clock. You should really check it out. Good stuff, right? And they're discussing Psalm 119. And he starts talking about how they did a baptism event in this same lake okay now that's just crazy now this is all i'm doing all this yesterday right 
And I hear that, and I'm like, wow, that is very strange. So I'm inclined to see. Well, when they were doing this baptism event, which was on the 5th of May, and this was a powerful event, the hand of God was on this so strong. Praise God for men and women like this. Seriously. And it was on the 5th of May. And I'm looking at it yesterday on the 21st. And check it out. From, from the 5th of May to the 21st. 77 days. Crazy, huh? So Adam is doing this show with Justin. 77 days after they baptized. Right? 77 represents Jesus. Right? <laughs> and it goes on. It goes so deep, you guys. It does. It, it's, it's absolutely amazing beyond my words. I, I cannot put words to it, to be quite frank with you. So um, I just kind of continue looking around. I'm just trying to be led by the Spirit as to what I'm seeing here. Right? So, oh, and it even, the article's even released at 539. It's a 17. And so i'm asking you know what am, what am i supposed to see here what, what am i supposed to share with this there's, there's so much here you know i'm not really sure what, what do i say i mean well that jesus is coming that's what you say and that people need to get right with him they need to be saved they need to repent they need to turn from this world become a new creature be baptized in the spirit you can be baptized in water there's nothing wrong with this. This is a beautiful thing. This is absolutely beautiful. But it's the spirit that we're baptized in when you ask Jesus into your heart. And you mean it. Okay? And you have a love of the truth. Very important elements there. Okay? So that's what it's telling me. You know, I don't know what else to tell you. But I did do, though, this is one more thing I have to show you. This was um, in this place called Rock table something like that hold on a second table rock lake right so i put it in the gematria table rock lake check it out the simple 116 and in the six count 696 this is important but the 116 you know they just so happen to be reading psalm 119 for their study 77 days after they baptized think about that right Table Rock Lake. Now, in John 21, they're fishing in the Sea of Tiberus. Seven of them. <laughs> in 21-2, it describes who is going fishing. And there are seven of them. <laughs> and they catch the 153 fish in the Sea of Tiberus. Table Rock Lake. 116. Sea of Tiberus. 161 and 966 <laughs> that's just crazy i mean it is but it's very telling it's just the way the spirit works through us to just show us to give us those pieces that we need and it and it just witnesses to our spirit that we know where we are and we are in the safety and security in the blood of christ which is where you need to be so i hope you are and I hope this all made sense to you because it's pretty amazing stuff. And I praise God for it. Everything that he gives us is just such a gift. It's to be cherished like gold, beyond gold. This is all showing the key to his coming. This, it, it, he's, he's coming. That's, that's what it boils down to. John 21, 777. Jesus, 77th from Adam right the first Adam oh and it's just so ironic right that they're releasing a movie coming up in August 29th called first man about the fake moon landing I mean seriously this is this is how desperate Satan is to do just ridiculous things like this and try and push this fake moon stuff on you it's really cunning, guys. You've got to be so careful with this stuff. The whirlwind in the, in the volcano. The 23 people injured on the volcano boat the other day from a fireball. 
in the boat. Oh, you understand? In the boat. They're fishing in the boat. It, it, this just goes on and on and on. It ties into Jonas. It ties into so many things. But you really just need to understand that you're in the time of the end of this world as you know it. And from this point forward, if you're not in Christ, it's not going to be fun for you. It's not going to be pleasant for you. That's just a fact. I cannot put it any other way, any clearer. The 153 fish are basically in the net. You understand? <laughs> I hope so. I was looking for an image of a full net that represents this triangle, right? Because, you know, you could look at it like this is where the net would be held by the string at the top, and it's full, right? And the best thing I could come up with, this is funny. I've never saw this before, but this is hilarious. This little fisher guy that says many fish on it, <laughs> and he's got a full net of fish. And it's basically shaped like like the triangle there. So, yeah, I had to show you that. I thought that was hilarious. Praise God. I got to tell you the story about the 153 in my life that only recently came to light that God showed me what he's been doing with me all along. And it's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, God is so perfect, you guys. Seek him so you can be in the joy of him. It's just unspeakable. So I hope you know him. If you don't, please seek him out. Please get this eSword program. It's so useful. I can't even describe to you how, how useful this is. And I hope this really does bless somebody, make sense to anybody. A big giant hats off uh, to Adam and Parable, the Vinian and Justin and Christian Truthers. Please go over there, subscribe to those guys. They are my brothers in Christ. So there you go. 17 fish in the net complete victory praise god peace and grace to y'all many fish finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might put on the whole armor of god that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God,